Hello everyone. Today we are talking about the Google C++ coding style of the header file. In general, every .cc file should have an associated .h file. There are some common exceptions, such as unit test and .cc files containing just one main function. Correct use of header files can make a huge difference to the readability, size, and performance of your code. The following rules will guide you through the most pitfalls of using header files. The first rule is about the defend guard. All header files should have defend guards to prevent multiple inclusion. To guarantee uniqueness, they should be based on the full path in a project's source tree. For example, the header file full slash bar dot h has the following guard. If undefined full underscore bar underscore h underscore, define full underscore bar underscore h underscore, followed by the body of the header file and finished with the end if slash slash full underscore bar underscore h underscore. The second rule is about the names and orders of the includes in a .cc file. In a .cc file, include headers in the following order. The first one is the related header. The second one is C system headers. The third one is C++ standard library headers. The fourth one is the other libraries headers. The fifth one is your project headers. For example, the includes in full slash server slash full server dot cc look like this. The first include is the related header full slash server slash full server dot h, then followed by a blank line, then followed by c system headers, headers in angle brackets with the dot h extension. For example, sys slash types dot h uni std dot h then followed by a blank line, then followed by the C++ standard library headers without file extensions, for example, string, vector, then followed by a blank line, then followed by other libraries.h file, then followed by your project.h file. The third rule is about inline functions. In a header file, we only define function inline when they are small, say, time lines or fewer. It's typically not cost-effective to inline functions with loops or switch statement. Usually, virtual functions and recursive functions should not be inline. We talked about three rules of using header files in the C++. More detailed information about the Google C++ coding style of the header file can be found at the link below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please thumb up the video and subscribe my channel. See you next time.